up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Reverse the Elf channel. So what do we have today? We have the ability to create the new format of PlayStation Vita games, which is .psv. As you guys know, there's ISOs for PSP, CSOs. So we'll go ahead and get our files that we need so that we can go ahead and do this. You can go to the Vita database beta or it's actually the same thing as the Vita homebrew browser. You can get a lot of tools, you know, emulators, plugins. So you can get a lot of stuff in here, which is pretty cool. So the tool we're going to need today, it's going to be the one called Virtual GC version 1.0 or Virtual Game Card. Also, there's QR codes. You can go ahead and get your PlayStation Vita and scan it and it'll download directly to your PlayStation Vita and install it as well, which is pretty cool. Now we go ahead and select the plugins tab. Now with the plugins tab, you can get whatever plugin you might need, but the one we need right now, it's going to be PSV Games SD version 1.0. And as well, you can go ahead and get the QR code, but in this case, I'm just going to get the files cool thing about the QR code, scan it and it installs directly to the PlayStation Vita for the plugins it won't and won't go into your download folder. But check out the website, I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. So now I have my two files, I'll go ahead and connect my PlayStation Vita. Now I have a folder especially for my plugins so you can go ahead and create one and then you're going to go ahead and drop the plugin inside that folder as you guys can see I already had it in there so I'm just going to override it so now that I have the plugin inside my plugins folder I'm going to get the VPK and drag it to the root of my PlayStation Vita so there we have it so now we're ready just remember to create a folder for your plugins so now also Jiffon Lu came out with some great comparisons versus the PSV game dumps and the other kind of like my dump tools and the vitamin dumps. It's going to contrast what the PSV game format means. So dumps physical games. So yeah, we got that checked. Dumps digital games DLC. Not yet, but it's compatible with legit DLCs and updates, which is cool. Saves usable on non-hacked PlayStation Vita, so this is pretty cool. You can transfer your saves. All original data is untouched, so no modifications. No problem in saving after suspended. Format can be converted to work with other tools. So Jifan Lu suggests to stop using vitamin in my dumb tool. So, I mean, coming from Jifan Lu, he knows probably what he's talking about. He helped a lot on the scene. And also PSV creates files that will be the standard format, kind of like ISO, as I was saying, Nintendo DS, you know. So it'll be called now PSV. Games allows to back up your 3.61 games and above. So let's say if the later formers are hacked, we can use these games as well, which is pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and leave this information as well in the description. You guys can go ahead and read a little bit more about it. Now this is my first dump PSV game. You guys can see I have the game on the side. And I was playing this game and it works pretty well. You know, it's flawless. Pretty good. Sorry for the noise in the background, my kids. The trophy right there. Like the original, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that I have my plugin in there. Also, I'm going to install the PSV game card.bpk. Now I'm going to go to URO and then to my tie folder. Once in my time folder, I'm going to go to config.txt. Okay, once under kernel, we're going to add a line and then we're going to go ahead and type our UXO 
plugins forward slash PSV game SD dot SKPRX. So it's pretty cool because you have your folder as plugins and UXO. So just create a path, which is this is the path. So UXO plugins PSV games SD dot SKPRX. And we select the little two arrows so that it can save what we wrote. And now we're going to press O and then it's going to ask us to save it. We say yes. Okay, so that's all we need to do. We will need to, to refresh our config text as well. So remember to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the PlayStation Vita so that my changes can occur. I just turn it off just in case because I needed to take out my SD2 Vita card adapter and insert the new game that I'm going to go ahead and dump. You can see One Piece Unlimited. As always, when you install like a new game card, then it'll install like a bubble for it for easy access. So now that we have the game in there, so we select our virtual game card application and then it's going to read the game. So it's going to be ready to be dumped. So we just press X and then it'll start dumping the game. Now this took like around 40 minutes about so there you can see that I have two .psv files now you can see these files when you connect your PlayStation Vita under the ISO folder on the root of the PlayStation Vita so now you can back up these files you know put them somewhere safe because now these files are technically official your game cards now to exit, we can go ahead and press triangle. I'm going to take out the game so that we can go ahead and uh, see if it works. So I just turned it off just in case. You guys can see I have the game out. I still have the bubble. Now I'm going to launch my virtual game card application. In case we'll see that I have my both games in there. Now it says physical game driver mode now to change that into virtual mode we just press the arrow to the right and it'll say virtual mode MMC now that we have it under virtual mode we're going to press O we're gonna select the game and then we're gonna press start once we press start it's going to say insert it and then we press triangle to exit so when it exits it selects the game or the bubble as you guys can see it's gravity rush so I selected the wrong one but let's go ahead and try it again so now to get out of it go ahead and press right and then it'll take you to physical now select the game which is the bottom one and then I press right again so that it can take me to virtual. I press O. And then I'm going to press start. Okay, it's going to say inserted. Once it's inserted, I can press triangle to exit. There we have it. We're going to launch the game. Remember the game card is not inserted. Okay, so there it is. You guys can see it's working. Pretty cool. Smooth. So guys, if it helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.